Esophageal pH test. The esophageal pH test is a test that is performed to measure the pH or the amount of acid flowing into the esophagus from the stomach during a 24 hour period. Normally, acid of food content from stomach does not reflux into the esophagus, but when it does, it does make the esophagus acidic. Now, if it happens once in a while, it may not be a problem. But if acid refluxes back into the esophagus again and again, is it going to be a problem? Yes, it will surely be a problem as the acid is going to corrode the esophageal lining. So when is this procedure indicated? It is most commonly indicated when the doctor feels that a patient might be suffering from gastroesophageal reflux disease, a disorder in which acid refluxes into the esophagus recurrently. A suspected patient of GERD shows symptoms such as heartburn, chest pain, coughing and sore throat or hoarse voice. Not only can this procedure identify the presence of GERD, but also can be used to assess for effectiveness of the treatment for GERD. So how is this test performed? Well, generally speaking, there are two methods of performing this test. One in which a thin tube or probe will be passed into the esophagus attached to a recorder. Newer method includes the use of a wireless capsule which is placed endoscopically. The probe and the capsule both are placed near the lower esophageal sphincter. Now this probe is already attached to a recorder that records the reading. This recorder is usually placed over the shoulder or on the waistband. The same is done for a recorder of the wireless capsule. The patient is then taught how to record the readings using the buttons onto the recorder. Things required to be recorded are time when you start eating, time when you stop eating, time when you go to sleep or lie down, time when you wake up and symptoms when they occur. Some recorder may have buttons to indicate meal times and rest time. So when a patient eats their meal, they have to press the button to allow the recorder to record it for interpretation of the data. The same thing is required for rest too. This is important because we already know how our sleep and food habits affects reflux of acid into the esophagus. Check out my video on GERD for more information on the same. Link is in the description box. For recorder, without this data, a diary will be maintained for the same. Diaries are also commonly used to record the data in children with gastric reflux. So how does a patient prepare for this procedure? Obviously, there are certain preparations required for this procedure from the patient's side. Especially for the fact that it is an outpatient procedure wherein the patient comes to the hospital on the day of the procedure, gets inserted with the probe or capsule and then goes home. The patient is informed not to eat or drink 4 to 6 hours before the insertion. Patients are advised to discontinue certain medications by the doctor. So proton pump inhibitors are stopped 7 days prior while H2 blockers are stopped 48 days prior to the procedure. Antacids can be given up to 6 hours prior to the appointment. Recording is taught to the patient to allow better collection of data. If you are a patient awaiting the procedure, make sure to visit your doctor to take advice about whichever medication you are taking, whether prescribed or over the counter. You need to notify the doctor if you are pregnant or on anticoagulant therapy. Wear comfortable clothing for the procedure. You may be given a change of clothes for the procedure. Jewelry should be avoided and dentures should be removed. A local anesthetics are used for this procedure, but it is always better to have someone else drive you back home. After the procedure, 
Ensure to do your day-to-day -day activity as usual. Do not try to alter any aspect of your daily activity as it will falsify your result. Eat and rest as usual and do not change your diet during the course of observation. You will be called after 24 hours or 48 hours in case of capsule to remove the probe and to collect the data. Based on the fluctuations in pH levels during the whole day, a diagnosis of GERD can be made and treatment will be started accordingly. The normal esophageal pH is considered to be around 7 and a sudden decrease in pH to less than 4 within 30 seconds is considered abnormal. A JD score may be used to appropriately grade the reflux and includes the following data. Total percentage of time the pH was less than 4. Percentage of time pH was less than 4 in upright position. Percentage of time pH was less than 4 in recumbent position. Total number of reflux episodes. Total number of reflux episodes longer than 5 minutes. And duration of longest reflux. Another commonest method of quantifying the GERD using this test is by determining the percentage of time that pH was less than 4. That is, time during which esophageal pH is less than 4 divided by total recording of the time. So this was all for the esophageal pH test. Comment in the comment section for any suggestion or request for a video. Please do subscribe my channel and hit that notification button. See you soon.